asked for the friendly ghost. What is happening? So welcome back to my channel as the title suggests. We are about to get down to the nitty gritty to get ready with me horror store. What would I even call this makeup look like? Work ready? What? What? Work ready makeup look? I don't know. Yeah, I guess I'd call it a work ready makeup look. My hair is semi done. I'm gonna have to relay the edges. Okay, so this is where the story starts with the stalker. The stalker, I actually met this person. Okay, it's actually a guy. Like, it's quite obvious it's a guy. Like, I don't know why, but men here have stalker syndrome if that's even a syndrome like they stalk it's like a pastime for them i don't know I, like some someone needs to say something to these people because it's honestly getting a bit like worrisome and like uh hello why do these men find it okay to stalk women like it doesn't make sense to me doesn't make sense i had such a horrible day at work that day i remember it was a it was a thursday yes it was a thursday and i decided ah oh, you know what i'm going to go to a local cafe as per usual because i cafe hop I'm gonna go to a cafe and I'm going to go drown my sorrows in caffeine and whatever sweet edible treat there is you know I decided okay let's go to a cafe I went to the cafe and I ordered myself a vanilla ice latte and a single waffle was eating, was having a good time, paid, enjoyed the meal, took a few Instagram shots, <laughs> you know. I'm walking back home now. My, now, mind you, the cafe is not too far from my apartment, so it's not, uh, it was literally like a 10 minute walk, so I was just like, okay, cool, I'm down for this walk, I'm a walk. Great, I'm walking back to my apartment and the car stops next to me. The driver asks me in Korean, excuse me, do you know where this office is? I even forgot the office name. And I looked at him straight in the face like, I was having a bad day, and when I have a bad day, I have attitude to spare. Attitude to spare. So I look at him and I'm like, aren't you Korean? Shouldn't you know where this place is? You know? And he laughs. So I'm thinking, oh, okay. <laughs> I thought I was gonna get beat up for a second. <laughs> He's like, uh, yeah, you're right. I just needed an excuse to talk to you. I'm like, okay you shot your shot okay you got my attention congratulations cool he then um asks me where i'm going and i say i'm going home and he's like do you want a rod and i'm like you know what all senses left me at that point oh my gosh I get into a stranger's car because I'm like, well, it can't get any worse from here, now can it? Uh, he then drops me off. Okay, mind you, I made sure that I do not go to my actual apartment. I draw. I asked. I pointed at a random apartment. And I was like, block away from where I actually live because I know. I know that these people they have stalker tendencies i wasn't born yesterday which is important when you're moving to a different country you need to look up like things like that like what's a stereotype that the country is known for and don't like look at the stereotype and be like oh no it's just a stereotype 
Oh, um, like there's something I always say. There's some truths and jerks, okay? And that goes for stereotypes as well. There is some truth in stereotypes. All right. So I get him to drop me off like two blocks away from my, two blocks away is two streets away from my apartment, at a different apartment altogether. He drops me off, he asks for my number. I'm like, okay, cool. I give him my number. And you know what we're chatting he seems like a chilled person and then the next day it's a friday he's like oh do you want to go out and eat i'm like okay cool we go out to eat and we went out to eat oh, my favorite korean chinese dish jajamyeon oh love it love it love it so i opted for chinese food and went out to eat chinese food it was fantastic to say the least okay his level of english is my level of korean so do the math <laughs> i would try my level best to use the minimum korean that i had in order to try and explain myself when he couldn't understand what i was saying in english and he would do the same so even given that the conversation still flowed pretty well. It was great. And whatever. And then I'm like, I'm gonna test this boy. Let me test this boy and see what his intentions are with me. And I ask him to take me to a uh, Noribang. The Noribang is like, um, it's like a karaoke booth type of situation. Like, but it's a room essentially. It's not just a booth. You know, it's like a room. And he took me to such a clean, I not really isolated, clean. The door is a glass door, so you can see, from the outside you can see it's bright. It doesn't turn off color, so I'm like, okay, cool. So he's not like looking for a quickie. Cool, great, smart man, smart man. Now I'm gonna talk to you longer. <laughs> the nori bang everything is fun everything is amazing no weird vibes no whatever at this time the time now so we went out to we actually went out to grab dinner so my, another thing that you should know is yeah dinner is around five o'clock that's when they have dinner so we went out to eat dinner so we got at the nori bang at around 7 p.m got at the Noribang after the Noribang which we spent close to two hours there which was it was amazing like it was fun it was so great I actually really thoroughly enjoyed myself and then from the Noribang we went to a cafe cafe Tiamo oh it was Fantastic still conversation is flowing and whatever um, Which is great Everybody loves a good flowing conversation. We don't want to be Stuck in a situation where you're forcing a conversation and somebody doesn't want to be talking to you, you know, so it's just ridiculous Okay, after we're done at the at the cafe He's like, oh, he'll drop me off. <sighs> I've forgotten that I had lied about my apartment. <laughs> and he drops me off where I had said I lived the last time. <laughs> Mind you, at this time it's like 9 p.m. I took some, some, somewhere close to 10 actually, not even 9 p.m. <laughs> Oh, not me forgetting that I lied to him, and I'm like, this is not where I stay. Like, girl, so stupid. He's like, oh, but last time you said this is where you stayed. Oh no, no, that's not what he says. He's like, oh, where do you stay? So I actually direct him to my apartment building. I 
I directed him to my apartment building, y'all. I directed him to my apartment building and okay, I'm just blending in the concealer. I uh directed him and he's like, oh cool. And then we sat in the car for a second and he says to me, You know last time you made me drop you off at the other place and I was just like so I'm thinking on my feet, like real quick, like, like, quickly, girl, like. So I'm like, oh no, that's my friend's apartment. It's not my friend's apartment. I don't, I, I don't, I don't know who Stacey. I was like, ah, oh, is she a foreigner too? I'm like, no, she's Korean. More lies, cause I don't, I don't know why. I could have just said yes, she's yes. So he's like, oh, so what's her name? And I'm like. <laughs> It's so hard for me to pronounce, so I just call her Sky. He's like, oh, okay. I feel like he knew I was lying. Sorry, the whole like going out for outing together was great. Oh, my foot is going down. It was great. It wasn't all too bad. So then he asks if he can see me. The Saturday, we go to the beach. Everything is beautiful. Guy, when he drops me off back home, he starts to confess. Oh my goodness, I've never met a woman like you. You're exactly what I've been looking for. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, uh, you wanna make a Unfortunately, what this country has made me is build more of a no filter. <laughs> so I, I told him, like, oh, I'm sorry, you're not my top. And he wasn't. He's cute for someone else, but not for me. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Concealer has warmed up to our face. Now let's go in with the Matte Mousse Dream Foundation. I said I wasn't going to do that, but now I'm doing it. Oh well. Oh, biggie. So... He, at that at the moment at that time he seemed like he was taking it very well so it didn't seem like there was an issue with me you know on the Monday I couldn't look okay you know what at least like we can just be friends you know I'm like hey friend Whatever, I guess that's that chapter. Oh my goodness, I can't believe he's so angry at me that I don't want to date you. Good luck. Whatever, man. Grow up. Anyways, I say hey, friend, to him. No response. Okay, cool. I let it go. Let it go. Let it go. I let it go. And uh, how did I even find out that I've been I'm being followed? I went to SKT Telecom. That's like a cell phone provider here. I went to SKT Telecom. Part of the reason why I even noticed that I was being followed is because somebody else noticed that I was being followed. So I'd gone to SK Telecom like four times since. Since the whole <laughs> blue tick. <laughs> okay, so the teller tells me that um, every time I've been here, is Katie he's noticed that this car exact number plate will always drive by here every time I'm here at first he thought the second time around it happened he thought oh no it must be a coincidence um but then he noticed that I've I'm coming in at a different time than the other time the first time that I'd come in 
tell when I tell you that when he told me that every time I come in here this car be passing by and like it's the exact same number plate my bones went cold my bones <laughs> my bones went cold actually not not even like I froze I didn't know what to do I'm like, are you sure? And he's like, yeah. And the, today, it's actually gone around four times. I'm like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. So I definitely, I immediately call someone to come pick me up because I'm like, I am not walking. Wow. So then when the certain somebody that I asked to come pick me up does eventually show up, I decide I'm gonna do my own little research. Let me see what happens. I ask the person and the driver please let's go to mcdonald's i'm hungry can get some mcdonald's he's like okay let's go to mcdonald's we go to mcdonald's and the car that's when i realized that it's i actually do have a store car his car was there in the parking lot i was like what the heck you must be ballsy to even follow me when i'm in someone else's car like what the heck like what the heck and you know the weird thing is they never actually do anything these stalkers they just follow and it's like that's weird child like like it's just like oh my gosh stop it stop it right now stop it just be normal man um <sighs> I eventually tell the person that I'm with that A. Hey, this car is actually following us. I saw it from at SKT. You know, the teller told me this is not the first time they've seen this car. Um, it's not the first time they've seen this car whilst I was here at SKT. Do I want to do something? about it that's what the teller told me and he just like oh my goodness we just call the cops so he called the cops and uh, the situation was i think resolved because we he left the details with the cops what car make it was number plates whatever way we are currently and the cops told us not to go anywhere and whatnot um when the cops arrived they didn't even come to us which was weird they just went straight to said car and we took that as our gate to Vamanos. To Vamos. So we left. And I don't know what's gonna happen today. This is all this all happened yesterday. I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen today. Maybe gonna but usually what happens in this country, stalkers just get us slap on the wrist and that's that. And it's like this is human endangerment. Jesus. I'm supposed to await a phone call from the cops. I'm just like, how am I going to understand Korean cop jargon? Like, that's a whole different language on its own. Oh my goodness. So, yeah. A baby girl's got a stalker. Well, hopefully, not anymore. Because, wow. Well, I don't want it to get a thing is so you're the one who just like stop talking to me like if you want us to be friends like why don't you just like be normal man I don't even know what I'm trying to justify just be normal just be normal like what's wrong with you be normal jeez jeez already i'm like a foreigner here i'm like going through the most already can you not sorry the story wasn't as juicy as some of y'all might have anticipated but i am almost done with my ready to go to work um look
Mm, it's not perfect, but this is it. Yeah. Ooh, this lighting makes me look so ghosty. Because I'm looking at the mirror, I look fine. I look at the camera, I'm like, oh, Casper! Casper, the friendly ghost. What is happening? Anyways, well, that was it for this video. Why do I look like this? <laughs> Never again. Then I'm gonna do this. <laughs> less team. Anyways, if you want to see more videos, like, not like this, but more videos from me, <laughs> please hit the notification bell, subscribe, like, and comment so the feed can be pushed out there, the algorithm can catch that you like seeing my face with this weird energy all up in your face. And yeah, tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend that hey, there's this dog girl who's from South Africa who lives in South Korea and she posts stuff like about her stalkers. <laughs> and yeah, follow me on Instagram. Ciao. Follow me on Instagram and to everyone who subscribed. I see you guys. Thank you. Wow, thank you. And we actually got notified as well when somebody un unsubscribed. So <laughs> I also see you. <laughs> Why? What did I do? Anyways, like, comment, and subscribe. Oh, bye.